And it's sometimes easy to forget that we are still in the heat of fire season, and preventing destructive wildfires begins with the care and keeping of our forests. Now, last month we discussed the value of thinning trees for that very purpose here in northern Arizona. Now, some projects to keep our forests healthy and fire prepared have begun. Reporter Aaron Benali has the details. A lot of these trees are dead, diseased, weak, dying, damaged. Trees that don't contribute to the overall health of the forest and actually increase the fire severity. You know, prior to treatment and management of our forests, the current conditions in many places are conducive to large devastating wildfire and crown fires that will wipe out large swaths of the forest. That is not really the natural um, occurrence of fire in our ponderosa pine ecosystems. Uh, what we have in our forest today, while there may be nature in our forests, the conditions are not natural. Um, our forests prehistorically were much more open with larger trees and bigger expanses of grassy meadows. Fire is a natural component of our ecosystem here and we're never going to be totally free of fire. Our forests depend on fire, they evolved with fire, and they need fire to re remain healthy. Our goal is to reduce the severity of the fire and in the event that we do have a wildfire, we'll have conditions where we can safely contain and suppress that fire and protect Flagstaff.